rally everything we can. We've got gold. We can now. I think we can afford mercenaries now. The cheapest ones we've got, please. Four thirty-six. I'll go slightly into debt, but screw it. I'll hire them. Bring them on. Come on, everything. So where are my mercenaries? I didn't quite, I didn't quite um, expect this to go like this. I can probably get an alliance with the Queen of France, can I? So let's try this, negotiate alliance. She'll accept. Even after I called her a fornicator and a, <laughs> and a um, what's a, an incest and everything else. Wait, hang on, is she? She's my mother, so that's her other son. So she's gonna go to war, perhaps. Marvellous news. Then get joined in. Uh, a call to war, please. Now. Did anyone see where my mercenaries went? So I have 5,000 soldiers, but I don't know where the mercenaries have landed. Unless they're in there, are they? Let's have a look, actually. Ah, there they go. There they go. So they're joined together. Let's merge those. And who should we go after first? Let's go and see if we can quickly... Uh, we want to try and get there. If we can defeat these armies piecemeal... Before they can meet, meet up. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to need some help with this. I am the heir of France as well, yeah. Damn, you should have been going there. I need to track him down fast. Actually, go, go to, go there. Let's, oh, well, we've caught that guy. That's fine. And France is alright. No, that's England. Someone in England. Cool. <laughs> By God, it's good to have friends. And all these bastards, I think I can probably imprison them after this and revoke their titles and give them to people I like. That could work well. Okay, we've got a big army over there. I need to try and pick them off a bit at a time. I have a daughter. Have I typed Yoten Mike in there? Okay, we're going we're going for the naming thing again. Who wants to be called? Who wants to be my first daughter? Everyone who's interested, say anything in chat now for the next 20 or 30 seconds, and then we'll we'll pick one. Oh, I can't move this on, can I? I have to make sure that army doesn't get destroyed. Fergio Fergal, that would work quite well. Um, <laughs> we have to win this war and win it fast. Yeah, that is quite a rebellion, though. Okay, let's see. Not quite so many volunteers for a daughter, eh? It's hogtastic. We're going. We're going with the, the name of whoever you are, unfortunately, because it's uh, it's easy to keep track. Then, hogtastic. I'll try not to marry you off to anyone too horrible. Right. So, can we merge these armies. I need to break these guys up. Why? What? How? There's never a quiet moment. My son and heir, Yoten Mike, is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help. But get exhausted by the constant stream of thoughts and queries. Jotun Mike gains a trait curious. Well, that could be dangerous. Am I, am I, I'm playing it a bit dangerous there. Someone go and besiege his castles and I'm going to try and get this guy. Oh, they're meeting up. There's going to be a huge fight. Finn has passed away. Okay. So I need a new... Oh no, he's someone else has appointed him. Uh, let's get swaying this guy then. This guy's terrible. God. Damn. Sway. Nora's uh, hogtastic. We'll see what happens. All these characters lead an interesting life and develop their own story, so... 
Um, okay, that's a big army there causing me trouble. I'm just going to nip over here, actually, and lay siege to this. I can't control my allies, unfortunately. I wish I could. We have a good commander there. We'll retake that place later. We just need to get um, forces gathered. The memories remain. Oh, Imchad, if you were still with me. Oh, this was the mate I formed, I think. I know you would tell me to be strong, that things will get better, and you would be right, as you always were. First, I must curse and cry. How could I not when you were gone from this world? Oh, my friend died. I need this army to split up. I'll have a new lifestyle perk. Thank you very much. Um, chivalric dominance. Knight effectiveness. Well, that's a good time to get that. Serve the crown. Control growth. Bellum justum. Naval speed. Oh, these are all good things here, look. Do I want to go for these, though? That's really putting a lot of emphasis into my knights. Still, knight effectiveness, 75%. That could be very good. Deadman Ultra. Hi, how's it going? Hmm. The gallantry is pretty good. I think they're all pretty good. I guess if there's any one way that you want to, like, play the character, it gives you a lot of possibility to steer in that direction. I remember in Crusader Kings 2, you often ended up, your character's traits, they always felt like they had a random element to it. You could try and educate him that way or marry him that way or whatever else but at the end of the day you didn't feel like you were fully in control of your character's destiny and sometimes that's a good thing sometimes not depends on, on what you like but okay i need these guys to be split up i guess if i attack them when they're in dublin uh, i'm just gonna wait for this to be taken this could go horribly wrong right we've taken that place I wish I could just get the other guys just to come with me. But anyway, we're going to go and try and go in. They're, they're leaving. Well, I've caught one of them. Okay, we've got the advantage. We've got the whip hand there. That should be fine now. Victory! Excellent. Trash the other guy as well. I think we've got this under control now. I see a lot of people going to jail after this and they won't be coming out of it. Alright, let's go and get this one back. Your kinswoman created the cadet branch of O Fergal Warwick. Uh, what's that then? Yeah, and I am in debt. I am badly in debt. And there's little I can do about it. The empty council. Have we lost a chancellor? could assign him as it's not a good job but oh he'll do for now won't he he'll do for now let's get Athlone back I thought I'd ordered those guys over but obviously not what's this war for this is a war for well basically I tried to I became king of Ireland we formed the kingdom properly uh, who's this? How did we arrange this? Weird. Okay. Um. Well. It's nothing to do with me. Oh, they're going to leave that and they can sort that out themselves. He's, I think he's got betrothed before he joined the clergy. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the king, this is, yes, this is uh, basically to, um, I tried to take one of my titles off my brother and pretended to the throne. He had too many duchy titles. He had more than me, so I thought, I'm having that. And of course he rebelled, but he, he took all the other dukes of Ireland with him because they don't like me very much. For some reason. Here we go and smash the Connacht capital. Uh, mercy for the mercenaries. 
The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow, and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Gloon Lan's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and their fighting is scaring the staff and guests. Huh. So, if I pay, I go massively into debt, I get generosity to mercenaries. I don't think that's worth the higher cost, because the higher... No way. It's nowhere near. Soldiers, throw them out. Expunged bandits. That's good. They are too drunk to be a real threat. This will be over quickly. I get the expunged bandits. I get respected by mercenaries. And 100 lifestyle experience. Yep, let's kick some ass. Attorney troubles. We're in a war. There's no time for attorney. As High King, I've been obliged to attend a local jousting tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. Attorney won't start for another hour. My kinswoman Mauda is there, and as always, begin. Oh, being an insufferable lout. A constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable than normal. Where is she from? Does she have any titles? She has nothing. Um. Okay. Is she at my court? She's at Captain Mikado's court. Right. I don't care about her. Push her into the water trough to liven things up a bit. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Um, Rogalak becomes my best friend. He already likes me, it's fine. Uh, push her into the water trough. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> Falco has devoted his life to God. Despite the negotiation careful planning, it seems it will never marry Elidora. Well, that's fine. Who is she? Like Count Alexia. She's nothing to do with me. That's fine. That's fine. We have lost nothing there. I need to go and trash these armies again. To the impressive High King of Ireland, I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, and this is Petty King Sigurdsson of the Sudria. Oh, hang on a minute. Is my Chancellor on... Again, click the wrong button. Yeah, go on to domestic affairs. I don't care if the foreigners like us all that much. You've seen some pretty high learning stats from... Which tree was that? With a 40 plus? Which tree was that? It's a hell of a lot. So anyway, let's crack on with this fight. Those armies are well split up. I kind of want to besiege this again. My allies are doing their thing, I suppose. Hmm. If they're coming back to Dublin, I can go and smash them again. What I should do is just go... I should go and get that capital, I think. Let them all pile up in there. That's fine. We're just going to take this. They'll not crack this, because this is a huge fortress, level 8. So they'll be fine there. This is nearly gone. I'm going to march straight here as soon as that falls. We'll have them. Oh, it's just in your games where you've seen those high stats. That's, I, I do remember seeing some odd high things in um, Crusader Kings 2, and you, you kind of wonder, how do they get that? It's just like a combination of all sorts of useful perks and, uh, and bonuses. Right then, we're going to march to Ulster. Might have a fight on the way. It's about time we won this war, I think. I'll be throwing a load of people in jail for being riotous, rebellious scum. Right, let's knock that one down. Level three, that's not too hard. Hey, you, Gil, how's it going? Right, I think we can accelerate time now because I don't think anything bad's going to happen from this point in this war. I think we've got it. Right, peace. So let's enforce demands. Boom. He's in jail. Again. So... That doesn't look like... How does he still have the Duchy of Ulster? I didn't I just claim that? 
Hang on. What did... I just claimed that, right? I can torture him. Move to the dungeon. He is causing me a few problems, I've got to say. Right, revoke the title. The Duchy of Ulster. That was mine. He will have to accept. Right, revoke that title. There. That should have happened at the war's end. I don't know if I... Uh, clicked the wrong thing. He fought it, did he? Oh, it was a rebellion, not a claim. What? Well, it. Um, uh, that's true. Actually, that's true. I I asked him for it, but he rebelled. So, I say, it, yeah, it wasn't a claim. Well, you're right. Well spotted. Just so you have no choice, you will be lucky if I let you live after this. If you got any other titles, the Duchy of Munster. I'm having that as well. We'll have the Duchy of Munster. Uh, revoke title. Uh, we might make him a, an earl somewhere. Put him in his place, of course. So, uh, what else did he have? Let's have a look at my prisoners. We're cleaning him out. There's some other sods as well. He's in prison. Right, we're having that. <laughs> the Duchy of Connacht. Revoke the title. Just so. Just so. We're gonna we're gonna spread this out, by the way. You have to do it manually? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, do you have anything else? No, I don't think so. He has lots of claims, but currently no titles. And what about this guy? He went to war, didn't he? Yeah, we're having that. No one's gonna have any titles now. Boom. Gone. One title. The Earldom of Desmond. I don't think so. Revoke that. Damn traitors. Yeah, we have a massive domain issue. Don't worry, we're going to sort that out in a bit. Um, shall I execute him? What would execution do? He is killed by you. So, I gain dread. I lose stress. Familial Kinslayer. But he is imprisoned rightfully. Okay, he's got loads of claims that are causing problems. Who else? Were you a troublemaker? I think you... I don't think I can take you. No, I can't take yours. Um, how did you get that? Oh, I've clicked on the army there, surely. Right, so... Just seeing if there's any other titles we want to take whilst we've got people here. Uh, looks like we've got rid of all his titles, have we? He's got lots of claims. Lots of claims. I mean, they might go and... The Duchy of Asturias. What? Oh, there's probably some sort of rebellion down in, in Spain as well. Uh, revoke the title. I could probably kill him. <laughs> and Agatha. She's got nothing. She's got a load of claims. Wow, okay, so... We might do this at the start of next stream. This is going to come sorted out. Negotiate release and make them renounce their claims. Don't ransom them so you can negotiate a release. Oh, cheers, we were the left. I didn't know about this. Kinslay is a major neg to prestige. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit much, I know. Move him to the dungeon, they'll die naturally. Okay, well, let's... Um, so if I... This is a princess as well. So if I negotiate a release... Okay, let's not go with her first. Let's go with Shamrock. If I go to... I can torture. I haven't picked a torturous thing on this, have I? Just come out of that a second. I think my guy. Where's his lifestyle stuff? What did I actually pick? Courtship. There's nothing... No, I didn't go anything down there, so... There is a... There's one line that gives you some torturing stuff. I don't know if torturing is necessarily a good thing. Right then. They don't have any claims anyway. 
Renounce claim. So he can leave. He will not accept that, but he will accept that. And I could recruit him, but I won't. <laughs> right, okay. Torture's bad. Okay, unless you're on sadistic and intrigue. I'll maybe leave that. Okay, so negotiate release. So he's gone. And he can leave all those claims behind. Shamrock. Renounce your claims. Okay, can't do that. And I can't recruit. Okay, negotiate release. That's fine. And who else? Old Philip. Well, I am not going to torture him. I will negotiate the release. Oh, he will accept and gain a weak hook. And I could recruit him if I wanted to. But what's he going to think of me? Oh, man. Do you know what? I am tempted. Um, go on, then. Let's do that. And see what happens. And my brother... Renounce all your claims. Gain a weak hook. Won't do that. I could recruit him. Is he worth anything? Nah. Um, except that I could give him... I could make him like an earl or something. I don't know if I'd want to. I mean, I'll see what their opinion is of me. I'm going to recruit him anyway. See what happens. Right, let's see what happens with that lot. Um, I, okay, farewell. Farewell. Greetings, nephew. Greetings, brother. No, they really dislike me. Okay, so I won't be giving them any positions of anything. Unless I then start... Could give them something. Why would I recruit someone who has high intrigue and hate you? I just wanted to see what their opinion would be after I recruited them. Because I expected it would be low. But uh, I just wanted to see what, what would happen. If it changed, it hasn't. So um, I don't think I'll be putting them in as spy master. Okay, I can ransom her. She's not important for anything. For a favour. Yeah, get rid of them. Empty out the dungeons. So, right. Interesting. Well, I can't send them away from court then, can I? Uh, they will be down here. There we go. So, in prison. No, I don't think so. Hostile. Denounce and disinherit. Pointers. Can I not send him away? Right, we do have some serious things to dole out here. Send him down to Spain. Grant title. Let's have a look at that. Let's get rid of that for a minute. Um, court again. So, one more. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's get it to the top of the screen. There we go. All right, you can change their portraits in this, can you? Open the barbershop. Personal. Remove guardian. Um, I don't have any... Extra options there. Grant titles. Oh, would it? So if I grant titles. Is this to, to get rid of him? Because I was looking for the dismiss. From court. Oh, I can't dismiss him. Maybe because I've just recruited him. Was it even... Let me just have a look. I didn't even see it. You guys have clearly got better eyesight than me. Right then. So... Oh, it is there. It's, it looks really faint and bright on this. So, I can't do it because he's a close family member. Fair enough. Um, hmm, I'm going to have a think because, yeah, disband the armies. We're not in a war now. Get some money back in. So, if I disinherit them first and then get rid of him. Do I have enough loyal family members, though? That's the question. I mean, I have my kids. I don't have any siblings. I must have some uncles and stuff. 
Because it really, if I'm going to be handing titles out, which I will have to, it's going to have to be to my um, my family, isn't it? There is not a lot of family members in this list. Is he married? How about I... Because he's a good guy. I'm going to have a think about this. We're going to, I think we'll do this at the start of next stream. It's, it's, I should have probably finished half an hour ago. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do some serious doling out of stuff. Children can't rebel. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's true. But if I make them... If I make those kids a duke before they've got betrothals and stuff, doesn't that mean that they then choose their own wives and I don't have any say in the matter? Because that's... I think that's how it worked in Crusader Kings 2, if I remember right. If you have all the titles in your home to your own family, you'll run out of prospective marriage matches of your own culture. Yeah, that's also true. I can still control their marriage? Ah, okay. Right, okay. Betroth first and then appoint them. Well, that was another option of doing it. But there's the option to control their marriages. We shall have a think about that. We, that'll, that I mean, that's going to cause some massive problems, but uh, if, I, if I advance time, that is. But we won't until we've got that fixed. That's the plan. And we're in debt. We have no money. Um, yeah, the bits down here we, should, we could probably assign to other people. Get rid of them somewhere. Hmm. I shall have a think what I want to do with that. If they ever gain independence or pledge to another king, as long as they are your vassal, you control their children's marriages. That's good to know. Oh, that's true. I think what I'd done before. Um, no, I think... Well, there's two things, yeah. If you grant them independence, say... I know when I played as um, in Crusader Kings 2, trying to take over Ireland, I made one of my kids a duke whilst I had two duchies, but I wasn't a king. So he was independent and he controlled his own marriages, obviously, then he was independent. But also, I think I made one just uh, like um, an earl or a mayor or something. And he instantly was able to pick his own wife and stuff. But that was Crusader Kings 2. So it might work differently in here. Uh, on another note, I think I can change the realm succession now because... I have one of more powerful vassals who have a negative opinion of me. Really? <clears throat> These are classed as powerful vassals, are they? This mayor is a powerful vassal, I guess, because I hold all the duchy titles. So if I put du make put dukes in um, and earls and stuff, then surely that will then replace those because they won't be the powerful vassals anymore. Yeah, I don't have any other ones. So we'll get that started. Hey, Brainless Society, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, if you see uh, Bear, by the way, um, I, I intend to give him a raid. In fact, let me have a look. Is he streaming at the moment? Ah, damn, he's not. He's never streaming when I'm due to finish. I owe him a raid or two anyway, so I will do when I, when I catch him. So, uh, right. Um, I will have a think about this. I might look at it offline and make some notes, but I won't do anything. I won't advance time before the next stream, and you guys can see what we do. But I might need to spend half an hour plotting that out, now that we own every title and bit of land in Ireland, almost. Yeah, I need to give away loads of stuff, but I'm gonna decide which duchies I wanna keep for myself, and which counties I wanna keep, and then um, we, shall, we shall go from there. Uh, that should make things a bit easier to manage. And we should be able to change the realm succession laws afterwards. Whew, what an eventful stream. A lot of stuff happened that we didn't expect. That was loads of fun, though. It's gone in a totally different direction. We, be, we achieved the goal. We've become King of Ireland. We've got the kingdom title sorted out. We've dealt with some rebellious family members, which was quite good. Uh, yeah, I think we've done okay there. Keep Munster, Meath and Leinster. Huh. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm obviously keeping Dublin because I've I've progressed that quite a bit and upgraded it. But the others, I might have a look around to see what's got what value. Uh, I need to keep two. I don't think I can keep three. I've 
because that'll cause problems. I might start by keeping three and see what problems it causes, then hand one out, but um, we'll definitely keep two, the best two. The southern three. Ulster and Connacht are the northern ones. Hmm. We shall have a think. If you up the Crown Authority to four, well, that causes problems with vassals for a start, but we might do that anyway. You can keep three, it causes marginal issues. I had issues before. What if I do this? Direct vassal opinion is hit. But it, it's good for everything else, right? Oh, go on. No one's going to object to that now because I've got no vassals. Ha! So we'll pass that. Right, and with that, I will definitely stop the stream there because I've got to go and eat for one thing. Uh, right, I'll be back on Thursday afternoon with some more of this, 3 p.m. UK time. A bit late of a start today, so I apologise for that. But we should be on time for Thursday if all goes to plan. And we shall see how we're going to split Ireland up and then see what the next plan is. The Empire of Britannia is looking possible. We would make an, a start on Scotland, I think. And also, we're still in... Hang on, are we still in line? We are still in line for the throne of France as well. And we need to have a think about anything that we might do with this down here, which I don't think will be very much. So, have a great couple of days, folks. And I'll catch you on Thursday. Good night.